The third video in this series is going to be about how we can use the power buttons. So first of all, nice and simple, if I wanted to find out 3 squared, I just press 3, and then this x squared button here, so 3 squared equals 9. And if I want to square root that, I can just leave the answer there, so square root 9, and I get back to an answer of 3. So using a square root button, type the square root, and then whichever number you want to find the square root of, so for example square root 62, and it gives me the answer there um, is a third, i.e. it's got the square root sign over it. Remember, if you want to change that to a decimal, you just press change like that. If you would like to cube a number, you can press, for example, if I want to do 6 cubed, press 6, second function, and then you'll see x cubed just above there. So you get your answer. Or an alternative is to do 6y to the power x, just here, 3, and so we get an answer of 216. If you want to find the cube root of 216, you can press second function. You can see the cube root sign just there in yellow. Of 216, we get back to an answer of 6. If I wanted to find the fourth root of 1,000, for example, I'd press 4, second function, yx, thousand and that finds me the fourth root of a thousand which is which you can see on the screen 5.62 and so on the final button that you might find of use is the reciprocal button this x to the power minus one here that's in yellow so if you just hit for example you want to know the reciprocal of eight press eight and then you press second function and then x to the power minus one there and you get an eighth which you can change to find is 0 0.125